Hey guys, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches with another exciting episode for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. 2020, what, what are you doing to us? Now look guys, I know that how 2020 and the virus and all the quarantine, I know how that's affecting watch collecting is probably the least important thing that we could talk about, but we have to have some form of distraction, something to keep us going, something that says normality will return. We need that right now more than ever. But before I go on, I do wanna wish the very best to you and your family because that is far more important than anything we have to talk about here today. But if I can give you just five or 10 minutes of relief from concern and worry, well, that makes it all worth it for me. And what makes it additionally sweet for me is when I see you subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done it, I can't quite blame you, but I wish you would. Give me a try. Man, there's a lot coming, so let's do this together. And it also helps enormously if you will like this video. Do it as a, do it as a favor to me. Guys, before we move into the meat and potatoes of this video, let's go ahead and get the quick fist watch check out of the way. I'm doing it for you. Today, I am wearing a Batman. You know, I was very lucky to purchase this watch um, right before the uh, right before it got popular and not even all that long before it got discontinued. So I was able to get this one under MSRP, well under MSRP. So I was very lucky. Okay, guys, 2020, what are we talking about? What's happening? Now, a couple of weeks ago, Basel World, the industry trade show for watches, was shoved back to January 2021. It is normally held in the spring, and so we should have had it in the spring of 2020 and at that event all the major brands would have released their new watches new models and new tweaks new features etc for the year 2020. now there are some exceptions to that because basel world as many industry trade shows throughout the world has sort of seen its star go from rising to falling and groups like the swatch group have pulled out so the swatch group will not be exhibiting there they have undertaken to make their own announcements in their own way and at other shows for their new stuff but rolex patek philippe and the real high-end stuff are still participating in basel world and so rolex collectors have been waiting with bated breath to find out what is going to happen what is the new stuff? Will uh, will what will be discontinued? What will be changed? Will that Explorer Two finally have a ceramic bezel added instead of that steel one? All sorts of things that we are predicting and wondering and hoping for and so forth. Why? Because we are not well. <laughs> you know, the opener to my channel says, "Is it a hobby or is it an illness?" And people who have been in watch collecting for any length of time know it's both, <laughs> and it's probably a little heavier weighted towards the illness end of the scale. But I digress. Let's jump back into the meat and potatoes here. Guys, Patek Philippe has announced that they will not be presenting new watch models for the year 2020. And by the way, a shout out to Tan the Man, Tan Zealon, sorry, for steering me in the direction of that little chunk of information. So Patek Philippe has, um, has announced that they will not be uh, doing their own releases prior to Basel in 2021. And that begs the question, what's Rolex going to do? I mean, two totally different companies, but they have a similar marketing strategy, which is to the high, high end of the scale. Don't get me wrong. I understand that horologically speaking, Patek Philippe is, uh, you know, kind of beats the pants off of Rolex, which is, you know, your basic tool watch turned luxury item. But nonetheless, they seem to swim in the same lane. So I think that uh, what one does may have some influence on the other. Now, until very recently, what I have been thinking and what I have said on video, I've gone on record saying that Rolex will not wait for 2021 to release their new stuff, that what they would be doing would be a webinar, a press release, um, use social media to present all their new stuff. Um, but Patek Philippe announcing that they're simply going to wait until 2021 has me thinking that Rolex is likely to follow suit. Now that's especially true because the Basel World rescheduling has been set for January 2021. In other words, they're trying to be optimistic about this and say, hey, you know, by that point, things will be returned to normal and we will be able to have a show. So, you know, boy, I sure hope it has returned to normal before then, because uh, this is, as we speak now, it is only March, end of March, we're heading into April of 2020. And, uh, you know, for the historical record, 
We're on lockdown here in the state of Illinois. Uh, most countries around the world have some form of self-quarantine, social isolation, distancing, and uh, I think more and more we are turning to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, FaceTime, social media, and connections with family, friends, and our communities through the internet and global social media. So, you know, thank God we have that, or we would all be sitting around our homes, you know, under a blanket around a campfire. So. Thank God for social media. It does keep us connected, and that is what we are doing here today. So here's the long and the short of it, guys. The uh, Patek Philippe will not be introducing new models for 2020. They're gonna wait until 2021, presumably from Baselworld. What will happen if Baselworld gets shoved further back? I, I think Patek Philippe just gonna probably wait. What's Rolex gonna do? They haven't announced it yet, but uh, my prediction would be that Rolex is going to follow suit and that there will be no new Rolex notifications. Uh, I think they're just gonna put it all on hold until 2021. Ideally, very beginning of 2021. That would be best case scenario. Worst case scenario is it has to wait a bit longer. Now, at this time, uh, Rolex is on closure. They initially announced that they would be closing all of their factories for a period of 10 days to comply with Swiss edicts and Swiss law. Um, but I just made a video uh, yesterday and I will drop a link to this video that I'm talking about in the description here so you can go back and find it. Rolex just announced that they're extending that closure all the way up to 30 days. I have some inside information um, from Rolex and in fact I'm showing you a copy of the letter that uh, Philippe Dufour uh, initially he's the CEO of Rolex that he sent to all employees and what you should be aware is that uh, Rolex it's uh, paying all of their people there on full pay, at least at this time. But their 10-day closure got extended out to 30 days. Well, what does this mean for production? That's a darn good question. Certainly, it means that Rolex will get scarcer than it has otherwise been, and it was already fairly scarce, at least the, the good stuff, you know, the steel sports that most of we collectors want to get our hands on. Now, um, in the last couple of weeks, though, there have been an awful lot of you reporting that you got calls from your authorized dealer that you were on a wait list and you had been on the wait list for a long time and all of a sudden you're getting calls, you know, do you want this Batman? Do you want this Pepsi? I've got a Daytona even in a couple of cases. Some of you have a long buying history with the authorized dealer and others of you didn't. Why is this happening and is it going to keep up? Well, it's, first of all, it's happening because all kinds of watches, I believe, were originally diverted from Asia. When Asia started closing, China started closing much quicker than the United States and Europe, for example. So Rolex had a lot of deliveries in the pipeline that got diverted to North America and to Europe. And so those hit ADs, and, but the pipeline is shut off now. So what you're seeing right now is like the last spurt of production. And we're seeing watches come into our market in Europe and North America that were originally intended, I think, for Asia. What that means is there's like a last hurrah at the authorized dealer. It's probably petering out right about now, but even in the last couple few days, I have gotten emails, comments, Facebook messages from people who are getting these unexpected uh, and very happy phone calls. Now, why is that happening? Well, normally an authorized dealer, if they have a, uh, a closure, you know, they're not doing business. But look, I'm not talking about any specific AD and I have zero inside information about this. But I have heard from just enough subscribers all around the country and in fact all around the world, uh, including Europe, that their authorized dealers appear to be working from home because they have gotten a phone call from sales personnel saying, hey, we had your number, you know, we have a Pepsi, do you want it? Why is that happening? Well, ordinarily, you'd make one phone call and sell a Pepsi, but the markets have been in turmoil, right? So people's, you know, they're watching their stock portfolio uh, go up and down, and it's crazy, so people don't have a whole lot of consumer confidence to do big spending right now. People who had cash reserves are thinking that maybe they better hold on to them. You know, so like, let's say you ha are lucky enough to have $100,000 worth of cash reserves in the bank, and Rolex calls with a Pepsi, do you really wanna take 10% of your cash reserves and, and, and dump them into a watch? Do you really wanna explain that one to the wife right about now? <laughs> you know, might not be the best time. So instead of making one phone call to sell that Pepsi, the authorized dealers who apparently some of them are working from home are having to uh, you know, make like 20 calls. Again, I'm not talking about any specific AD and I'm not even talking about any specific country. I've heard from people all over Europe and North America that this is happening literally right now. In fact, um, one guy who I know 
identify yourself in the comments if you choose to be identified but one fan of this channel and one guy i know and like he has recently been offered three top shelf uh, steel sports rolex and he took them all okay and that's in the last like three days stuff that's very very hard to get he has a great relationship with his authorized dealer but even people who don't are getting that phone call that's gonna stop because shipments will stop and uh, production because of production cuts guys it's a crazy world out there please join me subscribe to my channel if you don't I, like I said, I can barely blame you, but I hope that you'll give me a shot just so that we can do this again. Lots of content coming for 2020. It's going to be a wild and crazy ride. Let's do this one together. Talk to me in the comments. I am reading every single one of them. Tell me what you think. Goldberg, peace out. Paint the sky.